Now, let me show you how to identify your Scopus ID. So, as you know, uh, unlike Researcher ID, uh, Google Scholar, Citation Profile, or Orchid ID, for Scopus, the ID will be given automatically as long as you have any publication index in Scopus. So you don't need to register for Scopus ID. It will be given to you automatically once you have publication with them. So as usual, in order to identify the your Scopus ID, because most of the lecturer or researchers, they confuse on how they can find the Scopus ID. So you can simply get them by going into Scopus platform website. So I think you know, if you uh, access from uh, library website, you can simply choose from the list of databases. If you are from outside campus or outside USM, you simply uh, login through off-campus login via open attend. Then choose Scopus, then you're going to see this page under Scopus. In order to find your ID, Scopus ID, you may choose author. Then key in your last name, your first name, as well as your affiliation. So let me give an example here. I'm looking for my here. For example, I'm looking for, for Prof. Asma Ismail from USM. So for affiliation, you just key in University Science Malaysia. Then you can simply search. Search. Then they're going to provide you with the result here. So for example, Prof. Asma, as I can see here, she has more than one Scopus ID for now. So as you can see here, this one under Ismail Asma KA. The following one is Ismail Asma. Another one under Ismail Dato Asma. Uh, you're going to see uh, this problem quite frequently, especially for researchers with a very a big number of publication. Uh, it might happen uh, among others if you have very uh, so many variation of names so uh, scopus they're going to index as different id other than that there is also a case where you have uh, various affiliation for example if you transfer from one affiliation to another they may provide you with another id as well and many other information so for example like this one if you want to merge your author ID, actually you can simply take the ID. But before that, maybe you want to verify whether this is belong to you or not. So you can click this one, view last title. They're going to show you the last uh, publication in that in Scopus. So you can verify from there. So if you click, then if you uh, confirm that those article belongs to you and the name is belong to you as well. You want to merge them, you simply tick them all. Then actually you can request to merge author here. Okay, other than merge, you can also set preferred name. You can add and remove document as well as you can update your affiliation. But of course you need to sign in first. So for this one, if you want to sign in, maybe you can register uh, with... Uh, Xavier or Scopus in order to sign in then because only the owner of the ID can request to merge and do editing okay now let me show you how do you find the Scopus ID so once you find your name in the list here and for example Pro Asma so I can click on the name you can click on your name then they're going to show you your author detail or your scopus id so this is your name publication name this is your scopus id so if anybody asks you for your scopus id so you can give them this number and this is the affiliation 
you can have more than one affiliation this is your variation of name subject area how many publication total citation received hash index and this is the uh, citation graph as well as your productivity and this is all the article under your name so this is basically how you can identify your scopus id as your researcher profile thank you